Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. Today's topic is how does alcohol affect your recovery? Oh boy, you friggin' can't swear early in the YouTube video, apparently, the algorithm. Alky's in here. You sober up, pay attention. Put your earphones in. Take your hands off the steering wheel. Oh, park your car. Don't drive. Here we go. It turns out that alcohol has upsides and downsides for recovery. Upsides of alcohol for recovery, now I'm listening. What are they? First, alcohol can let you relax more, which is a big deal. People who have like a few drinks on some evenings after work and really less them wind down, that's a fucking huge deal. Number two, alcohol can let you be more social. And it has been shown time and time again that social interaction is like damn near a panacea to a shitload of conditions, including generalized recovery. If you get to spend some social time in great situations with great people, it's a huge effect on your recovery, which is also a big deal. If you can be social without alcohol, your boy needs no drugs to be social. A fucking butterfly. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. What's that? I'm talking to 800 other people. Then you're good. But if alcohol really helps you get out of your shell, and chat it all up and have fun, hey, that's definitely a benefit. Number three, alcohol can increase your appetite. You guys know when you have two drinks at the restaurant before appetizers come and they're like, what do you want? You're like, oh, I got a, I got a fucking list, bitch. And she's like, what the fuck? And you're like, I'm sorry, I've been drinking. I didn't mean to hurt you. Uh, and you start crying at the restaurant, they kick you out. No, wait, 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 that's not what I want to happen. And you're like, oh my God, thank you for asking. And you order half the menu. Because some people get them munchies when they're drinking. I don't mean drinking a fucking gallon and then throwing up all the munchies. I mean drinking a couple drinks and then like getting a little hungry and eating a lot. If you have re uh, recovery problems because you're never eating enough, and a couple drinks gets you eating, hey, that might be at, at, at the very least some fraction of benefit. Next, alcohol can carb load you. If you have a, a, like five or six beers, and they're like not the light beers, the full on beers, that can load up carbs wise. And then the next day in the gym, if you slept well, you, let's say you stopped drinking early, you had a good night's sleep, you can come in, get the pump of your life because you're so carb loaded. We have to nod that that is a thing. And number five, a lot of people have an experience with alcohol where it eases them into sleep. And sleep is so potent for the recovery process, it is kind of like, the king of the whole recovery court. Who's the queen? Oh yeah, the queen is like just relaxation. And, and, the, and the jack is like, um, you know, personal time to de-stress. He's like, man, shut up. Anyway, sleep is a big deal. And if alcohol helps you sleep a little bit, get you to sleep, we have to count that in the positive column. Amazing. So the recommendation here, just to review, is drink as much as you can and you'll recover. See you next time. Just kidding, you're still with us, right? Thank God. Scott, the video guy, how many people do you think were like, great, click, alcohol? Not the Yeah, right. I'll hang on your every limb. Bad news. Alcohol has some downsides as well to recovery. Hopefully nobody put the YouTube phone down after this. Responsible for tons of alcohol-related maladies. Six downsides at least that I can think of. First, Alcohol is a poison. You guys know that. It actively poisons you. And at high concentration poisons you a lot, and that fucks up your recovery at a basic biochemical level. Bad. Number two, alcohol directly and via hormonal pathways interferes with muscle growth and repair. Bad. Number three is it disrupts a bunch of other hormones that are good for recovery. Bad. Number four is alcohol dehydrates you which is a big no-no for recovery, bad, can be mitigated with drinking you know, a ton of fluids outside of actually uh, boozing, but at the very least is annoying. Number five, even if alcohol helps you get you to sleep, especially if you drink quite a bit, three or four drinks or more, you can notably and predictably disrupt the sleep quality of the sleep that follows. And often you end up waking up earlier and you're like, I feel really stressed and I'm awake. So if alcohol helps get you to sleep, and more alcohol still helps get you to sleep, sometimes against your own will, passing out, there is a chance that that has a net benefit. 
But as you drink more and more alcohol, the net benefit gets crushed and reversed, and now it's a net negative, a net cost, because yes, it still gets you to sleep, but the sleep duration is shorter, and especially the quality of the sleep is so much lower that, uh, you know, gee whiz, yes, you're sleeping, but you're not recovering. Right? Right. You have ever seen someone in the New York City, you know, next to one of the clubs, it's four in the morning, and they're like passed out, sitting up, like right by the club, like, oh, like that, and their mouth is open, their shit coming out, you're just, is that guy dead? No, that guy's alive. Barely. And like, he's got a clubbing shirt on still. And you wouldn't walk by that scene and be like, recovery. He's going to be so ready for his next workout. Like, he's sleeping on cement slab, upright. He's going to be in all kinds of pain tomorrow. And that's not good sleep. That's his body being like, hey, let's shut it down so we can not die. That's your computer on sleep mode. It's not making any updates. Point number six. Alcohol in some situations can make you do dumb shit that hurts recovery. All kinds of things seem like good ideas if you're drunk. Even things like let's dance the night away. There's not a lot of really jacked people and serious athletes that dance the night away. Because dancing the night away is kind of its own sport. A sport, by the way, which I am globally ranked at. Look me up. I'm, uh, Scott, how many times have I won the ballroom dancing world championships at this point? Scott's laughing because he stopped counting. It just got old. A while. I want a challenge. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the hot dog guy, right? Yeah, yeah. You just have to quit because there was no good challenges. And, and I still do it at home, but I don't even go out anymore. I don't even show off anymore. So what are the implications here? Alcohol can be good for your recovery if you don't drink it <laughs> or if just one or a few drinks gets you to do more of the good stuff and gets you more of the benefits. Like if it relaxes you, it doesn't hurt your sleep, helps you eat a little bit more, helps you socialize, then hey, gravy, enjoy. But you're, you gotta be honest about it and you gotta see like, and it's not that hard. Like after you drink for a week, like let's say every other night, a couple drinks, see how that week went as far as recovery. It's not fucking rocket science. You'd be like, yeah, I felt great. Yeah, keep going. Next week, you don't drink, and you're like, I don't know, I feel a little frayed, a little frazzled, a little stressed from work. I never kind of relaxed. It was hard to get to sleep. Fuck that. One or two drinks a night. Amazing. Whatever. But if you're like, you know, had a few more drinks, or one or two drinks a night doesn't do it for you, you can be honest with yourself. and like, oh, of course, that was not helpful, and I shouldn't do it. Or I shouldn't potentially do it, but understand that it comes at a recovery downside. Recovery is not everything. Sometimes you just have to have some fun, but you just know what you're getting yourself into. And lastly, alcohol is bad for recovery. If you drink a lot, a lot, like getting drunk all the time is not good for recovery in almost anyone. But also just one or a few drinks, if it doesn't get you the upsides, like it does for some people and it just you most of the downsides, um, then just don't drink uh, because it's just way more downsides. Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, you can still drink if it gets you some other upsides I didn't list here, but um, certainly for recovery, I just wouldn't recommend it. So quick personal insight. I really did try through my 20s and now through my 30s, I've tried a few times to really get into drinking. I know that sounds crazy, but I have like the opposite of alcoholism uh, genetically. So I'm like, I don't, like people are like, oh, try this beer, it's so good. I'm like, it, it, ta- it's, it smells like something went rot. I hate the fucking taste of it. I hate the smell, it's off. Beer, wine, I've never had an alcohol drink which I actually enjoyed, unless it was jungle juice that one time when I was 22 years old. I had four cups of it, and I turned to my friend who was the who was putting on the party, and I was like, hey, hey, Abby, how many uh, drink equivalents would you say is in each cup of this that I just had? And she's like, yeah, like two and a half. And I was like, per cup. And she's like, uh-huh. And I was like, yeah, I just did that in 20 minutes. I just had 10 drinks in 20 minutes. I drink three times a year. Needless to say, there were times where I would just teleport to places. Where I was like, oh, I'm in a new place. Who am I talking to? And at one point, I was talking to this one girl I knew from high school, and she was saying things, her mouth was moving, but what I was hearing was like, and I was like, well, I don't understand language anymore. Unbelievable. So maybe it's not good for me to have alcohol that I think tastes good. In any case, when I have a couple of drinks, especially recently, um, I just like, uh, I think I've reached a point where I'm about as sociable as anyone can be. Like, I just don't have social anxiety anymore. I don't remember the last time I did. Uh, back when I was younger, I had a ton. And when I was in college, I'd drink every now and again, and it would really help me socialize. Nowadays, I'm like, just a fucking chatty Cathy. I'll just like go meet random people in the street, no problem. And so when I drink alcohol, it doesn't make me any more social or any more apt to have fun. I just feel sick right away. I get a headache after like two drinks. I start urinating everything out of my body. I'm like, this is just annoying. And I also get like a little bit more combative and like 
kind of like conf not confrontational outwardly, but in my own head, I'm like, someone says something, I'd normally be like, oh, that's silly. And in my own head, someone says something and I had like three drinks and I'm like, that's fucking stupid. And I'm like, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I'm like, yeah, this is not for me, right? So am I really Russian? Jesus Christ, was I adopted or some shit? How did this happen? So for me, I don't drink alcohol almost ever because it's just, I'm rolling the dice and just not landing in the right fucking spots. If alcohol works for you in moderation, in a way that can promote recovery, amazing. If alcohol means you have a ton of fun, but it hurts your recovery, just understand the margins you're making trade-offs at and, and work from there logically. If you want to hear more nerd stuff like this, more into the weeds, then give our members area a try. It's five bucks a month and you get extra videos every month. And we have a team full round forum, links in the description, where you can ask me a bunch of questions and I reply to them in video chat. We have a huge community of members. You can assess your physique progress. We can give you feedback on your technique. If you post, a, for example, a video of your deadlift, we can show you how to do your deadlift better and work with us week to week. Everyone in the forum is super friendly and kind. Everyone is there to help. Everyone's really smart, except for me. I usually just learn from them and try to not, not sound stupid. Doesn't always work. Anyway, guys, thank you so much and we'll see you next time.